There are so many options when shopping for two-way survival radios that it can all be a bit overwhelming. Consequently, if you're new to the topic, it can seem like a carnival game of ring toss where you plunk down your money and hope to luck. This may be fine for some, but for most, especially those of you watching this program, Making a totally informed decision is the best way to find the right solution to your preparedness needs. To do that, let's replace luck with simplicity, beginning with a discussion of the three basic solution paths. The first is FRS GMRS. These are inexpensive bubble pack radios the ones we often see in the stores. Then there are citizens band radios, of which there are two types, standard 40 channel CB and single sideband CB. And finally, amateur radio. There are several types of amateur radios, and they are used with licensed frequencies in the HF, VHF, and UHF bands. With this in mind, let's briefly take a closer look at each of these three solution paths using basic survival criteria. The first solution path presents us with two FCC services, Family Radio Service, FRS, and the General Mobile Radio Service, GMRS. Manufacturers have found it profitable to combine these two services, and yet there are profound differences. The very near range for FRS channels is due to low transmit power requirements for that service. However, GMRS channels have higher transmit power and consequently give better range. These radios are the least expensive of all the solution paths and the learning curve is low. However, manufacturers are inconsistent in the assignment of channels and frequencies, so staying with a single manufacturer is highly advised. Also, while FRS does not require an FCC license to transmit, GMRS does. With citizen band radios, there are two types, CB for standard citizens band, and single sideband CB. With CB, the range is near and the cost is low. CB channels are consistently used across all brands and models, and an FCC license is not required. However, a single sideband CB is somewhat like having two radios in the same product. It has standard CB for near range. The single sideband CB variant offers far range, but is more expensive and does require a steeper learning curve. There are a wide range of two-way radios available for the amateur radio service and the high-frequency HF bands, very high-frequency VHF, and ultra-high-frequency UHF, and the ranges of these bands vary between near to very far. These advanced radios are the most expensive and have the steepest learning curve. However, the frequencies, regardless of band, are consistent across all brands and models. A huge range of available frequencies and modes are the main advantages of the amateur radio service. Unlike consumer radios that only offer voice, Amateur radios typically offer voice and data in the VHF and UHF bands. And in the HF bands, that plus Morse code, image, video, and fax modes. Now that we've identified our three solution paths, you may be wondering which of the three offers the best starting point for you. If so, the answer may surprise you. 
All three solution paths are equally necessary for survival, but for different reasons, as each serves a different group of survival needs. Besides, in a post-disaster survival situation, what you want is one thing, and what you can get your hands on, and which works, is entirely another. Ergo, you need to be equally proficient in all three solution paths. This is why our book, Radio Free Earth, Community Preparedness and Two-Way Radios, offers a total communications strategy. It integrates all three of these solution paths and is written for folks who know little, if anything, at all about how to use two-way radios and who need to master the essential concepts quickly and without a lot of fuss. Yet, every journey begins with the first step. So given these three different types of two-way radio solution paths, which do we recommend as your first survival radio? Our choice for your first survival radio is the single sideband CB. At first glance, this may surprise you. So, what is our rationale? In this case, the deciding factor is range. Single sideband CB offers both near and far. So what does that really mean? Here is what near looks like. The ability to communicate within a local area. And here is what far looks like. With this in mind, let's look at the five benefits of single band CB for preparedness. As these benefits played a key role in our selection. Of course, the first benefit is the ability to communicate both near and far. Cost is also a big factor, and given that you can assemble a complete single sideband CB survival system for less than $300, this is the fastest and least expensive way to obtain near and far range. Single sideband CB radios offer somewhat of a fast track learning curve. Simply put, they're the easiest way to learn how to get on the air both near and far. And this benefit is crucial because this is how you will gain both experience and confidence. An FCC license is not required to operate CB and single sideband CB radios. However, there are a few rules. Although single sideband CB radios can work international ranges, the FCC currently restricts the use of single sideband CB to working contacts within the United States. So, how is that working for the FCC? Well, as the comedian Rodney Dangerfield used to say, I don't get no respect. However, if you exceed the transmit power allowed for a CB and single sideband CB radios, you may be the one who gets no respect. And trust me, it won't be pretty. And the fifth benefit is wide availability. Thanks to the many online and brick and mortar stores that carry CB and single sideband CB radios and accessories. This includes truck stops all across the country. In fact, no other type of radio with both near and far range is as well stocked and supported nationwide as single sideband CB. A key point to keep in mind when scavenging in a post-disaster world. While citizens' band radios are available in handheld and 110 volt powered base station models, the only variant we recommend is the single sideband CB mobile. Primarily designed for installation in vehicles, they can also be used very effectively in base stations. When shopping for a new model, we suggest starting with these three reliable manufacturers Uniden, President, and Galaxy. When you do, the next step will be finding other CB operators out there, and here is what you could call a stealth benefit. 
there will be local CB operators, and they'll be operational after infrastructure fails, and in the absence of media news sources, will become a usual source of local news and events. Also in the absence of media, truckers passing through your area will become a tremendous source of information about what is happening in your region. Although the advent of cell phones and GPS navigation have reduced the use of CB radios by truckers, nonetheless, approximately half of them still use a CB today. Truck stops and freight terminals with CB radios will also become a nexus point for information passed along to them by mouth from truckers, whether they are equipped with a CB or not. Farmers with CB radios will also become a great source of information about weather and growing conditions, information that could be invaluable for you when you begin planning your own victory garden. Law enforcement and emergency dispatchers are routinely equipped with CB radios. While a disaster can overwhelm federal and state resources and cause them to fail, local governments will continue to function at some level, and a CB could very well become your only 9-11 contact tool. So, are you getting the itch to buy something? If so, here is the biggest benefit of our book, Radio Free Earth, Community Preparedness and Two-Way Radios. This is because we show you how to buy smart and to do it right the first time. Nice idea, huh? Well, let's take it for a test drive. Garage sales, flea markets, and the such offer tremendous opportunities to buy quality used single sideband CB radios and accessories for very little money. Oddly enough, folks selling this used gear do not often understand its real value. For example, old CB antennas can be worth a lot more than an old CB radio, as in the 1970s adage, buy a $20 radio and an $80 antenna. Nonetheless, these antennas are the first thing most folks toss out because they do not know better. So given that, what do you need to look for when browsing through the bins at what's on sale? Most often you'll find old 23-channel CB radios dating back to the 1970s. These will typically have simple designs, and even if they work, we suggest you avoid them. This is because the electrolytic capacitors and their power supplies tend to dry out over time and fail unpredictably. It doesn't matter how cheap they are. If you buy them, you'll only waste time and money in the long run. Therefore, what do you really want to look for? What you look for are modern, used, 40-channel, single-sideband CB radios in good working condition. Be sure to inspect the microphone and antenna connections to make sure they do not show signs of damage. And look for more modern design features, such as digital displays. For example, here we have a Radio Shack 40-channel single sideband CB. While this notable brand has fallen on hard times, and they no longer manufacture CB radios, a used Radio Shack single sideband CB in good condition offers a sturdy and well-respected design. Now that you know why your first survival two-way radio needs to be a single sideband CB, let's take a quick look ahead at the second and third parts of this series. In part two, you'll learn how single sideband CBs work. This way, you'll know how to get the best results from any single sideband CB radio. Then in the third and final part of this series, you'll learn how to make a single sideband work most effectively for you, including valuable tricks and tips to help you make the most of the technology. Until the next time, remember this. Radio Free Earth will pay for itself many times over with your initial radio purchases. And the sooner you begin, the more you'll save. 
To purchase our book, Radio Free Earth, online, visit amazon.radiofreeearth.org. We offer three different editions, a low-cost black and white edition and two collector-grade all-color special editions. For the Radio Free Earth team, this is Marshall Masters. And if things go sideways, we'll catch you on the 40.